There are two main parts of a WordPress install, the files and the database. So to install WordPress, we're going to set up the database first. Log into your site's control panel here, I've already done that. Click Databases, and then I add New Database, and I need to create a new database name. This can be anything you want it to be. In this case, I'm going to call it Example. And the next thing I need to do is add a database user. This user will have access to the database. I'm going to call this database user WordPress user. And for the password, I'm going to use WP password. Of course, this is a weak password, so you wouldn't want to use this on an actual site. And click OK. I've now created a database and a user. So the next thing I need to do is get the WordPress files themselves. So let's go to wordpress.org slash download and download the latest version of WordPress. Here you see download.zip. So just save that link either by right clicking and choosing save link as or by clicking the download link. And be sure to save it to a file directory that you can find later. Once the file is finished downloading, browse to it and extract it using whatever zip extraction program you have on your computer and it should create a file directory or folder named WordPress. Then use a text editor such as Notepad if you're using the Windows operating system to open up the wp-config-sample.php file and then save it as wp-config.php. I've already done that. Here we need to enter the info for the database and user that we just created. The next step is to open your FTP application, whichever one you're using. There are many available. In this case, I'm using GFTP, but most of the programs are similar. And the left pane shows the local files. So I've browsed to the file directory containing the files I just extracted, and I've already entered my FTP username and password for my site. Your site's host will provide that information for you. And once you've connected to your site via FTP, look for a directory named HTTP Docs or public underscore HTML and browse there. Now select all of the WordPress files in the local pane of your FTP application and copy them from your local computer to the server. And this can take several minutes. Once all the files have been uploaded, browse to your site. If the previous steps have been successful, you should see this welcome screen where you can pick a title for your blog and enter your admin user's email address. I'm going to call this blog Example and click the Install button. WordPress, WordPress will take just a bit of time to set up the database tables with starting data and then it will provide you a username, admin, and a randomly generated password. It has also emailed the password to the email address you provided. Write down or copy the password and click the link at the bottom of the page to log into the WordPress administrative interface. then immediately you should go to your profile page and change the password to something secure that you'll remember. And once you're done, that's it. You've successfully installed WordPress.